hi friends in this video we will see about the function overload okay function overload is nothing but what we can say is for example if the typescript doesn't know um, about the written type of the function how we can handle that one is nothing but what we can say is function uh, overload that means in a simple example what we can say is for example here you have function get add right we previously we have written so in our code we have written a combinable with using this combinable in the previous videos we have written this function get add right now what could be the written type of this one okay now if you see here if you hover here you can able to see that a is combinable b is combinable and the written type is the combinable we are we are able to see that written type is also combinable that means typescript is smart enough to decide that written type of the function that one for example here if you see the written type sometimes we can get a string and sometimes we can get a number okay here if both are string or any of the any of the two a and b string means then we will get a string or otherwise you will get a number so nothing but what we can say is it's a combinable thing combinable thing is number or string so for that reason the written type it is it has estimated as a combinable but we are not getting exact thing for example if you see here now what i will try to do is i will try to do const constant result is equal to i will call get add of 1 comma 2 okay now what could be the written type of this one we as a as a developer and as a thing we know that it compulsory the written type of this one will be a number only why because it will go here and it will return the 1 plus 2 as 3 but if you see here result result you are getting it as comparable so that means the typescript is not able to decide the, the imagine that one so he is passing two numbers so that this function will return only the number why because he is passing two numbers so the written type will be a number the typescript is not deciding so in this cases we can tell to the typescript for example see here if i try to do uh, result dot uh, something like uh, if you want to uh, do for example so for example here i will take leela and here i will take something like leela okay okay now i if i uh, now here the result type of this one is nothing but what we can say is string because both of the things are string it will it will return the type return the value as string only now if i want to apply the split here okay if i want to apply the split here i cannot apply the split why because the type script cannot assume that the result type is a string but we know that the result type of this one is a string the return type of this one uh, this function get add is a string why because we are passing two strings and the return type will be a string we are we are able to decide but the type script is not able to decide that one the written value will be a string it is it is giving it as combinable one one method what we can do is we can convert this one as a string directly and you can use the split here okay now the result will become string and you can use result dot split you can, you'll be able to get the split option here okay you'll be able to get the split option here we can use like this as string so we can type cache the thing as we have seen in the previous videos the type casting thing so we can type cache this one but this one we are forcibly making the thing as uh, type caching for example if i pass here one comma two now we again we are forcibly converting that one as a string so this type of making is not that much of satisfying so why because typescript itself has to decide that one okay so how can we make the typescript to define here we can use the overloading thing function overloading that means for example here i can write something like function get add sorry get add i can write the same method i can write the same method name like this and i can use this one and i can give here if the if if the arguments are both string then then the return type will be a string okay I, can, I need to keep semicolon at the end so we are defining the function de declarations this one is a declaration okay this is the about uh, about about the function all uh, all the definition and everything we have given here but here we are writing only the definition sorry definition we are writing here now again we can write another one also something like function get at another one is something like a colon number and also if both the arguments are number
then the return type you need to estimate that it is a number okay in the same scenario now we can estimate uh, we can give the we can tell that get add sorry get add of a colon number and if b colon string so you can give all the combinations okay the return type will be string and function get add and if a is string and b and b is number then also the return type is string okay we have given all the possible conditions of the a and b so if a is string string then the return type will be a string if a is number and number the return type will be number remaining all cases so we can define all the possible cases of the function the return types what could be the return types of this one if the numbers are of if the way if the arguments are of different types okay now here now the type sheet will be able to come by uh, able to estimate uh, able to estimate that here see it will it will be showing that it is a three overloads it is showing that three overloads three overloads means with nothing but we can say is string and number combination number and number combination these all things now now here is split is working now if i change again directly to one comma two okay again the split again it's not showing why because split uh, split it will be useful only for the string method string only for string only we can use this split method now here result if you see here number why because we are passing both the numbers and the result and the return type will be the number only okay so in this way we can write the function overloads in the typescript so this all typescript is all about the types only right so the for that reason i have explained you this function overloads how we can define the types for the function so if they if the arguments are of different different data types okay you can also mention if only one is there for example if b is a if b is of uh, what we can say is it is an optional argument you can also uh, you can also mention another one also something like get add if we pass only this one what could be the output here you can assume what again what can be the output you can you can give right now the b is not a optional thing so for that reason we are getting an error we can remove this one okay so in this way we can write all the possible return types what could be the return types of this function using the function overloads if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comment below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you